Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Melanie from Melanie Tries Recipes and today I am doing something a little bit different. Um, well, of course, I'm giving my dog some treats with some of this ham. I'm still working through the the uh, Easter ham, guys. Oh my gosh, we had so much left over. Um, but anyways, I am doing something a little bit different. This is going to be a twist on a sandwich. So, um, I lovingly call these popkins. And if you read Stephen King, The Dark Tower, then you will understand. So, but anyway, I lovingly call these popkins. And what they, what it is, is, um, you can fill them with whatever you want, but I'm just going to tell you what, what I have going on right here. So, this is cubed up. I cubed up some of the ham. I put in some fried bacon um, crumbles and I'm putting in a little bit of cream cheese just to make it a little creamier. I could have added a little bit more of the cream cheese, but I wasn't working with the whole lot. Um, and then what I am going to do is on a baking sheet, I am going to put a little bit of oil and brush that all around nice and pretty make sure it's all coated on there and then I am going to get a can of the large biscuits um, and then I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna pick up one of them biscuits and I'm gonna spread it around a little bit you know flatten it out a little bit make it wider and then I'm going to lay in a piece of Swiss cheese and then a scoop of the um, ham and bacon mixture that I have over there. And then I'm going to like squeeze it all together, wrap it up and put it on this baking sheet. Let's see, I'll, I'll talk through it again. So put on a slice of Swiss cheese and we're filling it with some of the ham and bacon and cream cheese mixture. And then we are squeezing the seam together so that all of that filling stays on the inside. Um, so it's 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 a sandwich, but it's like it's a hot biscuit sandwich that you bake it in the oven, you eat it hot. Um, so let's go through this again. So you put it on a piece of Swiss cheese, put your filling in there, and then just kind of pinch all the sides closed um sometimes it's a little bit hard i should have uh cut those slices of cheese in half and cut the slices of cheese in half and put them in a little bit different than what i did instead of whole slices because i couldn't make these the biscuits um large enough for the slice of cheese be where it wasn't going to like tear the biscuit so anyways so I'm going to fill up four of the biscuits with this mixture. Um, and then the other four biscuits, I'm going to do a different kind of a popkin. By popkin, I just mean a hot biscuit sandwich. See, just pinch it together real good so that it's nice and sealed. You want to put the sealed part on the um, bottom of the pan so that it doesn't break open while it's cooking. Clean up your mess and then get started with the next part of it. So these other popkins are going to be um, pizza popkins. So I'm slicing up some pepperoni in that little dish there I have some pizza sauce and then I am going to pull out a block of mozzarella cheese and some cheddar cheese and slice it up and put that on there as well and I'm also I've got a little bit of onion that I'm slicing really thin to put in there as well there's some cheddar and my dog is just like 
smelling all the good smells. And he's like, I want some of them good smells. I could smell them. Something smells really good. Come on, Aunt Melanie. Give me some treats. Alrighty. So we're just cutting like uh, four thick slices of the mozzarella. We only need four because I'm only making four of these. And doing this pretty much just exactly the same way as I did the other ones. I'm going to just kind of press it out, kind of play with it a little bit. Spread it out, make it so that it sits right in the center of my hand. Lay some sauce in there, some whatever you want in there. Sauce, pepperoni, onions, mozzarella, cheddar. And then just kind of fold that all over and pinch it together. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then on these ones, if you set them with the seam side up, then it will make it so that it opens up. Um, the, the biscuit will actually open itself up and it actually looks prettier. I forgot to um, record that part, but the, uh, that, that actually would be better for the pizza ones to seam side up instead of seam side down. Sorry about the quality of the video. Um, my camera that I was using is just a cheap Chinese knockoff of a GoPro and it pretty much already took a dump. Even I've only used it for a month and it's already junk basically. I, you get what you pay for. Anyways, I'm not that sad about it. So here we go, just keep on filling that up. This is totally a kid-friendly uh, meal there. Pop those in the oven. This is what they come out looking like. And then the, here is the ham one. See how delicious that looks. And this is the pizza one. You can see that cheese and everything just oozing right out of there. Now we are going to Give it a good old fashioned taste test and well yeah it's good i mean of course it's good anything pizza sandwich pizza rolls pizza pizza it's all good pizza's good all right let's taste test this ham one and just eat it like a sandwich pick it up and just smash it that's good I mean, those are awesome. You guys got to try that out. Put whatever you want in them. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, guys.